Goeiedag, Groot Elks. Vandaag gaan we eens kijken naar de volgende gedag, die Tarantal, in Engels, de Ginnifal. I'm going to give you a bit of the poet's background. Jacob Daniel de Toei, better known as Toosjes, was op 21 februari 1877 in die Perel gebore. Hy is die tweede sien van S.C. de Toei, wat een leier was van die eerste Afrikaanse taalbeweging. Toosjes de werk word gekenmerkt door symboliek wat op die algemene of alledaagse berus. Jacob Daniel de Toei, better known as Toosjes, who was born on February 21, 1877, in the Farouk. He was the second son of S.J. de Toei, the leader of the first Afrikaans language movement. Toosjes' work is characterized by the symbolism that rests on the common or general of every day. Now, I'm going to read the poem to you, and then we're going to go through the analysis. First, I'm going to read it to you in Afrikaans, and then I'm going to read it to you in English. Die Tarantal Die kruibal wiel, se skreeuw gelijk. Kerm, hy droeg geestig uit. Terwijl die skemerend vannacht daal, die Tarantal. Hy soek, en dit is ook al laat, vir hom a kameraad om in een boom die eenzaamheid in nacht te sluit. Saam sal hul in een blinklaar boom, half slaap, half waak, half droom, en by die nadering van gewerf, aan loon nie sterk. Ek het gemik en met die knaal het een dood neergeval. Die ander vlieg weg, die ander vlieg met wilde kracht weg in die nacht. Now in English, the guinea fowl. The barrel with its groaning wheel gives out its mournful squeal, while dusk lets fall its sunken cowl, the guinea fowl. It's seeking, though the hour is late, another fowl as mate, to pass night's loneliness, maybe up in a tree. They'll share a dog's with leafy bloom, half sleep, half wake, half dream. And when they're ending, then draws nigh, alone, not die. I've taken aim, and at the sound, once fallen to the ground, to another with the wild strength, takes flight into the night. Right, now let's have a look. What is a tarantal? What is a guinea fowl? A tarantal is a wilde fool, so groot soos a wunder. Hulle wei bedags in troppe op die grond en slaap nachts in die bome. A guinea fowl is a wild bird as big as a chicken. They graze in flocks on the ground during the day and sleep in the trees at night. They are monogamous. Now monogamous means they only have one mate at a time. Now on the next slide I've given you a bit more information regarding the guinea fowl, their forecomes, their appearances, and what their diet includes, so what they eat basically. Now, on this slide I've given you a summary about the poem. Now let's go through it. In die gedag beskryf strofe 1 en 2 a tarantal wat een schemer aan een maat soek. Stanza 1 and 2 describes a guinea fowl looking for a mate at dusk. Strofe 3 beskryf dat die tarantal nie alleen in die nacht sal wil wees nie. Stanza 3 describes that the guinea fowl would not be alone at night. Strofe 4 beskryf hoe a jachter een tarantal skiet en die ander dan wegvleeg. Stanza 4 describes how a hunter shoots one guinea fowl and then the others fly away. Now, the stemming in tema, the mood and the theme. The mood is more of a whining, sorrowful, loneliness, destruction. It basically refers to the death and it contributes to the sad mood. The theme in this poem basically um, is about death 
and mortality and the sadness what one experience when a partner dies. Now, the an analysis of the poem, yes, of Sindor, is vier strofes, that is paar rein, in die rede hoekom die dichter schemering en nadering so gestel het, is um, in gedoen met metrum. Nou, metrum, basically, is die ritmische met, met betroon van een gedicht. Metrum is basically the rhythmic pattern of a poem. You will see that is one of your questions. Now, in English, I have given you the translation, Tarantal, Tekini Tau, Kraibar Wheel is the wheel of a wheelbarrow, Skriw Geleit, a screeching sound, Karim means groan, moan, or to whine, Drufgeestig means mournfully, Skemering Vinnig Dal, is dusk which is approaching fast. Kamerad is a comrade. Yen Salmai, loneliness, slight and faint. Blinklor Boom is a round leaved teak. Northern van Verdar is the approaching of tradition. Gemuk, aim, knal, the sound of a gunshot. Near fall means fell to the ground. Now, also, you will see the Harhalen van die Tierklang, Tarren Tal, in the K sound and Kreivar wheel. Then, the Skriwgeleid, what the Tarren Tal maak, klink net soos the Skriwgeleid, what a Kreivar wheel maak. Now, what I mean by that is the sound what a wheelbarrow wheel makes is basically the same sound the guinea fowl makes when it's basically in the herd. Now, we krijg wel view, ze skreeuw geluid, karren, hy droef geestig uit, terwijl die skemering vinnig daal, die tarren daal, hy soek, en dit is ook al laar, vir hom een kameraad, om in een boom die een sal bij. Now, basically, die tarren daal het slechts een wijfie. Remember what I said about they are monogamous, they only have one mate. Now on the next slide, you will see there's a lot of repetition. Now the importance of repetition, it means to emphasize. I've also said here, there's assonancy, assonance, lang klanke draalbei tot swaar moedige stemme, op woorde soos kerm, droefgeestig, eensalmheid, verderf, sterf en dood. So you will see there's a lot of vowels that is in this poem. That's called assonancy. Die tarantal wil nie die nacht dood alleen in Ghani. So he doesn't want to die alone at night. Hy droom van die slaapplek in die boom in die boom in die tijd. So he's dreaming about a place to see in the future. Now the last standing, stanza is referring to the hunter. Die jachter spoed. Jachter or the speeder skip een doen, die ander vlieg weg, deels in die verlede tyd en teenwoordige tyd. So basically this is where the hunter, the hunter in this case is also the speaker that shot the guinea fowl. And it is taking place in the past and present tense. Now the theme of this poem, like I said in the beginning, is like death and somberness what um, a person experience when their partner dies. Right, now let's have a look at your questions. What is the connection between the Kraival wheel, the Skriwgeleid and the Tarantal? So what is the connection between the wheelbarrow wheels, screeching sound and the sound what the Queen Fowl makes? Number two, have a look at the rhyme pattern. What type of rhyme pattern is there in this poem? Number three, wat er een woord in strofe een dui die gemoedstemming aan. So what word in stanza one is giving away the mood of this poem? Number four, waarom denk jy skreeuw die tarantal in strofe een? Why do you think the guinea fowl is making that screaming sound? Number five, 
Waar slaap die tarantaal volgens strofe 2? So, where is the genital sleeping according to stanza 2? Number 6, daar is 3 dinge wat die tarantaal in die boom doen. So, there's 3 things that the genital is doing in the tree. What are they? Number 7, lees weer die laaste strofe en beantwoord die vraag. So, read the last stanza again and answer the questions. Would you say... It's acceptable what the speaker did in the last stanza. And how do we know that the hunter actually shot the guinea fowl? Question 7.2. 7.3. What is the other tarantal gebeur? So what happened to the other guinea fowl? The one that basically was left behind. Number 8. Noem enige twee woorde in die gedag wat verwijs na die dood. Name any other two words in this poem that is referring to death. Number nine. Now I have basically typed out the English question for you here. Rearrange these verbs of these stanzas in the guinea fowl's life order. So these four words, I want you to rearrange them according to the guinea fowl's life order. Let's go back again. Number 10, don't yay, detect the time around dusk tonight um, is acceptable, how the poem is playing off or taking place. Number 11, waarom word die woord naderen in versio elf gebruik? So why have the, the poet used the word naderen in not nader kom? Remember I've said something about, um, before about nature. Just go read through that again and it will possibly help you with this answer. I hope this was helpful. I want you to do this work in your literature workbooks. Thank you.